code pink when buying robux or premium hi everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make a transparent png roblox gfx for your thumbnails using blender 2.9 first i'm going to export my avatar from roblox studio don't forget to use the r6 version of your character or the textures won't apply to your rig correctly i'm just going to adjust the sleeves into the correct position I'm also going to add a custom face for this one, so if you expand the head selection on the right by clicking the arrow, you can locate the face and then just delete it by hitting delete on your keyboard or by right clicking and selecting delete. To find a face, I'm going to go to images and then search up cute freckle face. There will be a lot of images to look through, so just select the one that you like. I really like this rainbow freckled face by Watermelon, so I'm going to click on it and load it into Roblox Studio. Drag and drop the face image onto the head section and the explorer selection on the right. Export your character by right clicking on the name and choosing export selection. I'm also going to export a prop, so I'm going to search for perfume in the model selection and export one of them. Open Blender and delete the cube by hitting X on your keyboard. Go to File, Open and select your rig and load it into Blender. I'm going to open mine from Recent. Delete the rig head by selecting it and hitting X. Click on the rig body and then go to Shader Editor. In the second orange texture box, click on the file icon and locate your character texture file. Click on it and select Open Image. Go back to your 3D viewpoint and your body texture should be on your rig. To load the head, go to File, Import Wavefront, OBJ. Select your character OBJ file and make sure that you tick Split by Group under Geometry. This will separate out the body parts when your character loads into Blender. Delete all the parts of the body that you don't need and then select everything that is left and click edit. Menu search and type in origin. Select origin to geometry and then move the head and accessories into position using the move and rotate tools. Import the prop by going up to file import wavefront obj this time i don't want to tick split by group because i want the perfume to stay as a single object and not be made up of individual pieces pose your character and prop however you like using move rotate and scale to get to pose mode make sure you are selecting the colored lines that run around the individual body parts to select more than one part, hold down shift while you click on each part you want to move or rotate. When you are happy with your pose, you can add a light source by clicking add and selecting light. I'm going to use sun. Move it to position using the move and rotate tools. If you click on the light bulb icon on the right hand side, you can change the color and strength of your light. Click on the render properties tab on the right. It looks like the back of a camera. And go down to denoising. Tick the box next to render NLM. Under light paths, change the transparency to zero. 
and the film tick the box that says transparent. This is important to make your background transparent otherwise it will be grey and not useful for the thumbnail. Go to the output properties tab, it looks like a printer, and select your image size. I'm going to use a square. Under output change the file format to PNG, colour to RGBA and colour depth to 16. Add a camera by clicking add and then selecting camera. Click on the camera icon and go to the camera view and move your camera into position by holding down the shift key and the little squiggly line key together and then using the letters Q, W, E, A, S and D on your keyboard. Click the render preview to check how it looks. I'm going to add another light source to mine. Once you're happy with it, click render from the top menu and select render image. Once it's rendered, click image and select save as.